Namaste beautiful souls. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion. Today's class is going to be a quick upper body and core interval infused yoga class. But before we begin, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of these excellent yoga workouts again. So without further ado, I'll see you on the mat. So we'll begin today's class in a posture that is not often touched on in these interval infused classes, child's pose, balasana. So bring your hips onto your heels, take your knees as wide as the mat, toes to touch, and walk the hands forward, resting the forehead on the mat, or on your hands, or on a block. And we'll just take a moment here to gently sway to the left and the right. If that feels good to you in your body. Allow the head to be heavy. The body to come to stillness now. And take this moment at the beginning of practice in this supportive posture to just settle in and take note of where you land. What energy you bring to this practice. What mindset you bring to this practice. Take a deep breath in through the nose, expanding the mid back, lower back, as you send the breath into these places, and exhale slowly through the nose. Again like this, inhaling, expanding the upper back, puffing up like a balloon. Exhale, release the hips a little more. Taking three more deep breaths here. Taking the time to slow everything down. On the next inhale, walk your hands forward and come into tabletop. Wrists directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Press through the tops of your feet. Engage the legs, squeeze the thighs toward one another. Widen across the collarbones and inhale, open the heart forward, arch the back. Exhale, round through the back, chin to chest. Taking the whole breath to move. Inhale, open. Lift the heart. Exhale, round. Press the spine towards the sky. Inhale, cow. Engage the core lightly. Exhale, cat. Two more on your breath. Last one. Inhale, make your way back to neutral. And then walk the hands a couple inches forward of the shoulders. And from here, inhale forward, drop the hips, maybe micro bend in the elbows, lift the heart, cobra. Exhale, press the hips back, child's pose. Inhale, ripple forward, drop the hips, cobra, open the heart, press through the tops of the feet, exhale, child's pose. Continue forward, and if this is sensitive on the lower back, bring the whole belly down, come into a baby cobra, and then press it back to child's pose. Two more.
Really engaging through the tops of the feet. Last one. Awesome. Inhale forward. Keep the hips directly over the knees. Walk the hands forward as far as they'll go. Stretch the fingertips away from the hips. Again, lightly engage the core. Bring the heart or the forehead to the mat. Extended puppy pose. Lengthen that tailbone away from the fingertips. Try to get a deep, deep stretch in the upper back. Nice. Inhale, come back up into tabletop. Flip the toes under, straighten the legs, come into plank pose. Spread your fingers wide, press through the heels, engage the core, open the heart, press the up front body up to meet the back body. Beautiful. Option to drop the knees, of course. Just remember to keep the core super engaged. And from here, bring the left forearm down, followed by the right into forearm plank, then press through the left hand, followed by the right plank, and then switch sides, right hand left, right hand left, 10 times. Left, right, left, right, one, right, left, right, left, two. Continue, keep the hips low, three. You can take the legs a little wider if you need to, four. Five, trying to switch hands each time. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Awesome, downward facing dog. Woo! I just filmed a hit workout, so I am feeling just a smidge tired right now. <laughs> Pedal through the feet, shake the head, yes and no. Lift the hips high, heart space yearns toward the thighs. Come to stillness, come back to the breath. In and out through the nose. On your next inhale, press through the upper back, rounding through the back. Draw the chin into the chest, slowly ripple forward, come into plank. And as you exhale, hook the hips up, suck the navel in, press back to down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, rounding the back, engage the core plank. Exhale. Hook the hips up like someone's dragging you from the hips towards the sky. Down dog, two, three. Make the movement slow and precise. Four. Five. Six. Seven, almost. Eight. Nine. Ten, beautiful, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, keep the left hand down, inhale, right arm up, easy twist. Draw the shoulder blades toward one another, keep the right hand engaged, stack directly over the body, press that left heel away from you, open. Reach the right arm up and over, and place the hand down, squeeze that right knee into the tricep, Plank, kick it back 10 times, knee in. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Smile, second chaturanga to downward facing dog. All right, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through, keep the right hand down. Inhale, left arm up towards the sky. Beautiful, stretch, press the right heel away from you, bend deeply in the left leg. Reach the left arm up and over. And place the hand down. Draw the left knee into the tricep and kick it back. Plank, knee in 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Plank, vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Come back to the breath, in and out through the nose. Stretching down the hamstrings, stretching along the back. Enjoying this pause before we take it to the other side or start a new, a new sequence. <laughs> Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, right arm up, easy twist. Press that left heel away from you, engage the core, inhale up. In two, high lunge with an open arm twist. Re-straighten through that back leg. You might notice it's got a little bent now. Fingertips yearn away from one another, left arm forward, right arm back. Mm. Inhale, look forward, reach the hands up. Exhale, plant the palm, step it back to plank. Drop the hips over to the right now, keep both hands down. And then bring the right knee in, left knee in. So it's almost like a half side plank, but the left hand is gonna stay down, knee in, 10 times. One, one, <laughs> two, two, trick ya, three, three, Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Plank. Vinyasa. This workout is going to be quick and concise. So you can squeeze it into busy days and still get a great workout in, some toned arms, toned abs, and looking great in all the clothes that you wish to wear. So inhale the left leg up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, left arm up. Easy twist, straighten through that right leg, engage the core, inhale, lift, wide arm twist. Restraighten through that right leg if you notice it got bent. Left arm reaches back, right arm forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades toward each other. Press equally through the inner and outer edge of the right left foot. Press the right heel away from you. Beautiful, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, plant the palms, plank. Drop the hips to the left this time and we'll knee in both legs. All right, you can take the right hand a little bit closer to the left if that is supportive to you. And let's begin. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Squeeze it tight. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Plank, vinyasa. To downward facing dog. <sighs> take that pause, take that break, shake the head yes and no, 
congratulate congratulate yourself on how strong you are for making your way to your mat today for this short practice. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Press that left heel away from you, engage the core, flat back. Inhale up, high lunge. Take the hands to prayer, prayer twist. Widen the collarbones, press that left heel away from you. Left leg is stick straight and energetic. Relax the shoulders. Keeping the left arm here, reach the right arm towards the sky. Maybe straighten through the left arm, get it a little deeper into this twist. Excellent. Inhale up, high lunge. Working with that balance. <laughs> and exhale, plant the palms, plank. This time, keep that right leg up. Staying in plank, kick the right leg over to the left and back. So we're not toe tapping, we're just kicking the leg to the left, like you're trying to, you know, push your closest yoga partner away from you, but with the foot and a little bit gently. <laughs> so staying in plank, kick to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, core tight, eight, nine, ten, plank, Whew, vinyasa. To down dog. Don't forget your second chaturanga. It's what's really gonna build up those triceps and that core power. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Lift the fingertips towards the sky. Press through that right heel, hands to prayer, prayer twist. Option to stay here, reach the left arm towards the sky. Maybe straighten, losing my balance, straighten that right arm to get a little bit deeper in the twist. Excellent. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, plank. Keeping that left leg up, kick it to the right and back 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank and yes. This is our resting pose. <laughs> This is where we get to stretch it out, let it feel good before moving on. So take the left hand to the center of the mat, left and right. Take the right hand to the left ankle, twist, look under the left shoulder. And if you can't reach that ankle, you can take the hand to the thigh or the shin, wherever feels good to you. And other side. So right hand to the center of the mat, left and right left hand in the direction of the right ankle. Look under your right shoulder. Inhale back to downward facing dog. From here, inhale, rock forward to plank. Spread those fingers wide, press through the base of the knuckles so that you can lift some of that pressure off of the wrist, but keep the wrist down. Don't lift up onto your fingers. We have to have the whole solid foundation of the hand down, but this is just a way to take some of the pressure off of the wrists. Okay, holding your plank, drop the knees down, just tap the ground and press back up. So you're not taking your weight onto the ground and releasing, you're holding that plank Bending the knees, tap down, press the heels away from you, straighten the legs. Tap down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, make the movement super slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Downward dog, just for a second, just for a break. If my arms are shaking, I'm suspecting yours probably are too. So let's take one sec while I guide us through the next set of postures. So the next exercise is going to be chaturanga to side plank. So you can stay in your break for now while I show you, if you can see the screen. So coming into plank, you can keep the knees down as well. Chaturanga from here to side plank. Or with the knees up, chaturanga to side plank. And you can always drop that bottom knee down if you need to. So we'll do this 10 times. Chaturanga to side plank left side, chaturanga to side plank right side. But don't worry, I'm not trying to cheat you this time. It will be just a total of 10. Not a sneaky total of 10, which is really 20, all right? So break is done. Set yourself up, plank of your choosing, chaturanga, side plank, one. Chaturanga, side plank, other side, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> 10. Awesome job. Come back to plank. Hop the feet forward. Come to sit on your bum and come straight into elevated bicycles. So fingertips behind the ears, elbows wide. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee 20 times. One, two, three. Core tight. Four. Open the heart. Five, six. Elbows wide. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Place the feet down. Oh, my mat has moved. <laughs> Place the feet down for a sec. Really kicking butt today, aren't we? All right, lift the knees, come into high boat, reach the fingertips towards the feet. Or you can, of course, keep the toes down and do this with the toes down, though it might be harder. I've not tried, so you can let me know. Otherwise, shins parallel to the mat, high boat. Drop the lower back down, straighten the legs, low boat. Engage, come back up, high boat to low boat. <clears throat> Two, Ooh, this is hard. This is really hard for me. I have a long torso, so keep going. <sighs> Three. Four, really use that core. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, this is one of my weaker ones, honestly, so it's good that I put it in these classes. Nine. Forces me to do it. 10. All right, come on to the back. Whew. Can bring the knees into the chest for a second. Two. Recoup. And then take the right leg long, hovering it above the mat, left leg up. Take the hands underneath the hips and we'll slowly scissor kick, opposite leg up and down. One, really press the sides of the waist down. Two, three, really engage that core. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring both feet up now. Kick the sky and lightly lift the lower back, the hips off the mat. One, two, straight up to the sky. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now come into plow. If it's in your practice, 
Otherwise, take happy baby. But if you would like to take plow, you can take your feet over the head. Oh, I got this fancy, this fancy, this nice uh, wall here. Take the hands to the back to support. Walk the feet down. You can always keep the knees bent as well. If that feels good, straighten the legs if that feels good. Clasp the hands if that feels good. If this is not accessible, you can always support the lower back with your hands and come into this version. Take your hands down to the mat, slowly roll out of it, one vertebra at a time. Take the feet down as wide as the mat, knees come together to touch, to recalibrate the lower back. And then take the feet hip distance apart. Heels walk in towards the hips. Squeeze the thighs together, press the hands into the mat. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. Press through the heels, inhale, lift the hips, bridge pose. Option to stay here or clasp the hands beneath you. Press the heart towards the chin. Squeeze the thighs together towards one another. They shouldn't be touching or the goal rather is not for them to touch necessarily. Inhale here, exhale, release. Beautiful job. Bring the knees into the chest now and take a couple nice little circles counterclockwise, give your lower back a massage and then clockwise. Take the left foot down now, right ankle on top of the left knee, flex the foot, draw the left thigh in towards the body, gently press the right knee away from you, pigeon on the back. I'll keep it quick so this video is accessible for short time frames but if you have a longer time feel free to stay in these pigeon poses for longer but otherwise switch sides with me flex the left foot draw the right thigh in gently press the left knee away from you <sighs> take the feet down Stretch out, point the toes, arch the back, lift the arms above the head. And then take the right knee in and across, supine twist. Other side, left knee in and across. If you're lucky, you'll get some crackles and pops. Inhale back to center and grab the backs of the thighs, rock and roll. Give your back a nice massage to come up to a cross-legged seat. Clasp the hands behind the back, open, lift the heart. Inhale here and exhale forward, fold over the legs. Great place for a block as well for the head, just stretching the shoulders and the hips. Inhale back up, switch sides, switch the clasp, open the heart, exhale fold. Inhale back up, take a gentle twist to the left, to the right. And if you have time for a restorative Shavasana, take that time now. 
Otherwise, this is the perfect time to head on with the rest of your day. I hope that you have enjoyed this practice and I can't wait to see you next time for our next class together. From my heart to yours, Satnam. Thank you.